and I put Merry Christmas to everyone, Merry Christmas out there and welcome back to my channel. It's Christmas today, it's exactly 25th of December and I have a Christmas turkey in front of me. I want to show you how to make a Christmas turkey today. Actually I'm making this for the first time but I'm just hoping that it's going to come out good. Please wish me luck and join me. Let's start. So guys, and that's our turkey for today. And it's already clean. I've already cleaned it. I've removed everything that was stuffed inside. And the wings, you can see the neck, the gizzard and this is just the fat the fat i cut it myself down but i still need it i'm going to use it i'm not going to throw it away and now i still want to cut off this part And this part I'm not going to use for anything. For the turkey, we don't need a lot of ingredients. For the, the stuffing, we need apples. I have six apples here, and I'm going to use about two to three onions. Now we are going to start marinating our turkey, and this is salt. I'm going to rub it inside. This is called Bifus in German and it's Natwag. I just googled the name and we are also going to wrap some inside. Now we have to massage with some salt. the salt to get inside the pot. We really need to massage it. And now the paper. You can see now it's all covered in pepper and salt the inside is also peppered and salted now i'm through with the marinating the turkey with pepper salt and bifus in german we call it i don't know the english word i just want to set it aside and start preparing the stuffing now we are preparing the stuffing the apples are, are also washed. These are five apples. And now we have we are adding four onions.
Now we have here five apples and four onions. We are just adding enough salt. A lot of pepper. You see how much pepper I added on it? A lot. And salt also enough. Now, the most important ingredient. My friends, I don't know how it's called in English. But in German, it's called Bifus. We mix everything very well. And now it's time to do the stuffing. First, you take one whole apple and put it inside now you can add the rest Now the stuffing is completely inside. I just have to try and close that so that it won't fall out. And this is what I'm going to use. Now the turkey is ready. See, I've closed it. I'm very sure the stuffing won't fall off. Now I'll, it's time to see. I'm now going to use this. Put it on the bottom, the neck too. Put them on the bottom, and then you start by putting the breast. On the down. The turkey is a little bit too big but it will be okay. And now you take the remaining apples and onions put them on the side. Add some water to the And now you can put it in the oven at 180 in the beginning and then later in this the heat. The remaining intestines I'm going to add to it and after around 30 minutes to an hour. Now the turkey has been in the oven for the past one hour. I just want to turn it once and I won't turn it again. So that's how it looks like after one hour in the oven. Now we just have to turn it on. It's not going to be easy, but I'll just do my best. It will continue 
So now just put it back in the oven and check after half an hour again. It's been now half an hour. We have to sprinkle again water on the wow. A lot of this by moving. Just fat. Now I have to sprinkle my turkey again with water on top to keep it greasy. After every half an hour, I need to do this. almost three hour three and a half hours and I've been sprinkling the water see how it looks it has a lot of fat I need to remove some fat it has a lot of fat I'm telling you. now I need to sprinkle some more water on top for the last time Now back in the oven for the last half an hour now. Now it must be ready. Just want to remove it, take out the sauce and start preparing the sauce. I have to remove the turkey. Oh uh, yeah, it's not so so let it stay there. And that's what we are going to get our sauce from. So that I can cook the uh, sauce out of the back. But on the other side. Allow the other side to be brown. Now I'm taking it back just for a few minutes to allow the side to be brown. Now I just want to make the sauce. I've tried to remove the oil. of oil I found in the turkey. Add some water and allow it to boil for some time. And then we are going to add so that's the sauce. I think I just have to make it ready now. Reduce the fire. We have to see. This is still hard to cook. And now I'm going to add this. 
I'm just going to add it direct to the sauce. But use a whisker. Now, my sauce is almost ready. I just have to leave it to boil for a little while. Now, let's take the turkey out before it dries. Wow. That's the end result. And I'm then sure it was juicy too. So guys, that's the turkey and it's very nicely cooked and as you know I'm, on, I'm alone like I told you last time, I can't eat it alone, I'm going to take it to a party where I'm invited. So now the sauce is ready, that's how it looks like. Very tasty. Thank you.